two zones of Saturday Night Live, and I thought 25 was a lot, but hey. First up, Tina Fey. <laughs> We loved her on Saturday Night Live and adore her on 30 Rock. Here's what I love about her. <laughs> yes, I did like her. That was a lovely day. Remember it was a rainy Saturday and I was at your house? It was, and, and, and over in Gail had lunch at my house. Yeah, you see? But let me just say, in the book you talk about the dilemma about to have or not to have a second child. Yeah. Oh, well, dilemma's over. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> and you try to keep thinking about it, you're like, oh, wait, I forget my But Alice is already what? Five. Five. Yes. So five's good. Is she excited about she it? She is psyched. Yes. Yes. Talks too much or gets mad and throws uh -huh. stuff. Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. don't hire them. Why did you call the book Bought Bossy Pants? Uh, I was trying to think of... Uh, of all the things. All the things. Yeah. I was trying to think of... Um, places and stuff that I was uh, uh, last summer with my husband. I was like, just trying to think of words that you associate with a memoir or not. Yeah, yeah. But when you're looking at, you're like, I love that whole section on you know dating and when you're climbing up the mountain at midnight with yeah. the whole boy thing. When I was in college, I ate. Uh -huh. And also, you fell off the mountain. No. Yeah. Well, as it turns out, you get to the top of the mountain and yeah. he wants to talk to you about his another girl. Another girl. Another girl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But the, yeah, what was so interesting is that your only real day job mm -hmm. actually was here in Chicago, Chicago. up in uh, at the... Yeah, at the Y. I used to live here in Chicago, and I used to work at the McGaugh YMCA in Evanston. I mean, the, the wild was an amazing place. It was, uh, you learned a lot about just kind of tolerance and, and mostly there I learned also just how to be like a good co-worker and not be a pain. So, do you, you know that when I was, when we did that skit together for 30 Rock, mm -hmm. you write about this in the book. I was so touched. There was my name. <laughs> but you write about this, and this is true, that the day we were doing our little filming for 30 Rock, was the day you were also that night going to be live First time. on SNL for I I impersonating Sarah Palin. Yes. And I was, and you say in the book, Oprah seemed really concerned about me. I was. I was like, why are you doing this with me today? Yes. You're going to be doing that. I was in the dressing room trying to watch YouTube clips of Governor Palin, trying to learn how she talked, and then we would go shoot, and then we'd take you a shoot, break. shoot, and then you were listening, and I was saying, well, have you been studying her? Have you been? Yeah. And then that night, you were... I was so amazed at that because I was the reason why I was so amazed at that because she was doing she was studying me that you might be overextending yourself and you need to examine your life. That's the governor, Sarah Payton. On current policy, I want to give you one more chance. Policy experience based on Alaska's proximity to Russia. What did you mean by that? Well, Alaska and Russia are only separated by a narrow maritime border. You've got Alaska here, and this right here is water, and then that's up there's Russia. So we keep an eye on them. And how do you do that exactly? Every morning when Alaskans wake up, one of the first things they do is look outside to see if there are any Russians hanging around. <laughs> if there are, you gotta go up to them and ask, what are you doing here? And if they can give you a good reason, they can, then it's our responsibility to say, you know, shoot, get back over there. <laughs> Because I, I was right here, that they, her people called up and said she wanted to be on SNL. Yes, as is often the case with all, all kinds of people, but usually it's yeah, after you've been playing them for like two years. Yes, yeah. was this whole thing happened within six weeks, um, and she wanted to come on, and and also it was getting really the campaign at that time was getting kind of ugly, and it was weird. And I don't, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with Tina. Coming up, Jenny. Good evening, I'm Jimmy Chase, and you're not.
-hmm. So to be in this environment now was like a culture shock to me. Mm -hmm. And then I, I Thing. No, I didn't have time to do that. Well, how am I supposed to shame in France? Grow goatee. Dad, nobody let me do anything. I mean, are your parents home? Yeah, but they don't let me. Tracy, did you order the pizza? Uh a whole load of my skits. You should be good for a couple weeks. Is it true that they got nude beaches? Not in the winter. Mars? Don't you know how to knock a clem wad? Can I sleep in your room? I don't want to sleep on the hide of before. If he has something to drink, he'll wet the bed. I wouldn't let you sleep in my room. You're growing on my ass. Ruthie, have you ever heard of South Bend Shaw School? Well, that's him. Back in 58, he was his whole family, half the people on the block. But the snow shop. Been hanging out in this neighborhood ever since. Well, if he's a shell slayer, how come the cops been arrested? Not enough evidence to convict. The body. I've just changed so much since my Saturday Night Live days. I have a little girl named Stella who's seven and a half, and, and I, I love being a mom. It's the greatest. Our biggest blunders and moves, a major favorite things from Ola. Round the 